Good morning, I'm Neva Redimanu and this is your morning news fix for Monday 13th of November. In this update, concerns Christopher Luxon may miss opportunities if he doesn't make this year's APEC summit. Leaders from governments around the Asia-Pacific region have gathered in San Francisco for a forum hosted by US President Joe Biden. But national leader and incoming Prime Minister Luxon says he won't attend until coalition talks with ACT in New Zealand first are complete. New Zealand Asia Institute Director Natasha Hamilton Hart says it's more of a symbolic and diplomatic meeting. Nonetheless, it's always important for countries like New Zealand to be seen and to remind our partners we have certain interests. Nanaya Mahuta refused official advice to label last month's Hamas attack on Israel terror on social media. An Official Information Act request reveals the Foreign Affairs Ministry emailed the just-departed minister a draft post to be sent from her ministerial social media account. It states New Zealand unequivocally condemns rocket and terror attacks from Gaza into Israel and calls for an immediate cessation. But Mahuta's office replied it disagreed with the wording of the tweet and requested a second draft. Ex-Foreign Affairs spokeswoman Brooke Van Velden says Mahuta chose not to denounce barbaric aggression and she wants to know why. Mahuta lost her seat in last month's election after 27 years and is no longer an MP. Supplier cost increases are still on the up, but at a less frantic pace. Infometrics data shows the annual rate of growth in October was at 5.4%, down from 6.1% the month before. Chief Executive and Principal Economist Brad Olson says it's the slowest rate of increase in about 19 months. So it is encouraging news that we're starting to see perhaps less intense inflationary pressure. Still doesn't mean there's a lot of great deals on around, but better news in a sense. Dilworth School has allocated nearly $44 million for sexual abuse victim redress. The schools filed with the Charities Register to set aside the funds for about 250 students who suffered abuse since the 1950s. Payments are to be individually capped at $300,000 for the most exceptional cases. A child's in hospital in a critical condition after a hit and run in Whanganui. A group of kids was walking home from a park on Saturday night when a six-year-old boy was struck by a vehicle while crossing Cornfoot Street near the intersection with Rangiora Street. Chelsea Daniels says more. The car is being described as small, hatchback-sized and light blue, and it didn't stop. Anyone in the area at the time who may have seen the car is being asked to contact police. Any residents with CCTV cameras should also check footage. Meanwhile, emergency services are responding to a serious crash on Cobham Drive in Hamilton. Officers were called shortly before 4am. In sport, India have gone through Paul play unbeaten at Cricket's World Cup. They posted 410 for four against the Netherlands before dismissing their opponents for 250 to win by 160 runs. Golfer Ben Campbell has won the Hong Kong Open by a stroke on 19 under par, hitting the lead for the first time with a birdie on the last hole of the tournament. And Australia have beaten New Zealand 35-23 in the Fast Five netball final at Christchurch. I'm Neva Redimanu. That's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the Newstalk ZB Newsroom.